Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Good evening. We'd like to welcome everyone to the Board of Adjustment meeting and the Planning and Zoning meeting for July the 2nd. Our first order of business will be the Board of Adjustment agenda. And there are no public hearings for that tonight. Uh, so we'll open up the regular Board of Adjustment meeting with the minutes from the last meeting. So we'll entertain a motion to approve those as submitted or if there's any changes. I move to approve the minutes of that meeting. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Dickey, second by Mr. Deach to approve the minutes as submitted. Any questions or comments? Roll call vote. Mr. Burton? Yes. Mr. Deach? Yes. Mr. Swap? I was absent. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Pollan? Yes. Motion passes four to zero with one abstention. Next order of business will be the finding of fact and conclusions of law regarding to the setback variance that was a, uh, addressed last month for the property located at 807 Banner Avenue. Um, so we have to have a roll call vote on to approve or not to approve the finding of facts on those. So we'll take a roll call vote on that. Mr. Deach? Yes. Mr. Schwab? Yes. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Cullum? Yes. Mr. Barton? Yes. Did I need to get a motion on that to start with, or? Some of She has it as a Yeah. Huh? She has it down. That's what I mean. That's what I thought. So we'll have Mr. Deach made a motion. Do I have a second on that? Second. Mr. Dickey, second on that. And then we, the motion passed five to zero. Sorry about that. Jump there. We do the Board of Adjustments very rarely, so it's different people every month. So. And hearing that, we'll uh, close the Board of Adjustment meeting for tonight and open up our regular planning and zoning meeting. And the first order of business, and this is everybody included in this, uh, will be our public hearings. And our first public hearing will be the Plaza Tire. Mr. Hampton, you want to bring us up to speed there, sir? Yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Good evening sir. Uh, first item we have is a proposed uh, site plan approval request for Plaza Tire SP92, located at 907 North Steinhagen. Property is zone C3 Highway Commercial. On May 29th, 2015, a request was filed for site plan approval for Plaza Tire Store, which would provide light auto service and a tire shop to be located at 907 Stein North Steinhagen. For Appendix A, three commercial use, I vehicle service, one motor vehicle service and repair, a conditional use permit is required. The site plan approval request has been submitted by the applicant along with the conditional use permit. The UP44 approval request as required for section 405.340C8. I'd also like to ask to make part of the public hearing record to the municipal code by reference, my planning zoning report, and the public hearing notices. Thank you, Mr. Hamp. Is there anyone here to speak on behalf of the Plaza Tire tonight? Mark Corman with Lewis and Beatty Servers and Engineers. I have Scott Rhodes with Rhodes Development here uh, with Plaza Tire Service. Uh, for the record, we're here. Um, you can answer questions during the regular meeting, but we're here to support the plan. Thanks, sir. Anybody else to speak on behalf or against the Plaza Tire tonight? Hearing none, we'll close that public hearing and open up the Plaza Tire conditional use <coughs> permit public hearing. This is a conditional use permit approval request for Plaza Tire CUP-44 located at 907 North Steinhagen. Property is zone C3 Highway Commercial. On May 29, 2015, a request was filed for a conditional use permit approval for a Plaza Tire store, which would provide light auto service and a tire shop to be located at 907 North Steinhagen. The conditional use permit, uh, this conditional use permit at Approval request has been submitted with the site plan approval request as required by code. I'd also like to ask to make part of the public hearing record the municipal code by reference, my planning and zoning report, and the public hearing notices. Thank you, Ms. Hamp. Anyone else to speak on behalf of the Plaza Tire Conditional Use? Same exact thing. Thank, <laughs> you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Corman. Anyone else to speak on behalf of or against 
the conditional use permit. Hearing none, we'll close our public hearing for that and open up our first public hearing for Jordan's place. Site plan. And this is a site plan approval request for Jordan's place, SP-94, located at 202 East Main Street. Property is zone C2, general commercial. On June the 5th, 2015, a request was filed for site plan approval for Jordan's Place, a youth recreation center, to be located at 202 East Main Street. For Appendix A, 2, Institutional and Civic, G, Parks and Open Space, Recreation and Entertainment, 10, Billiard, Pool Hall, Video Arcade, a conditional use permit is required. This site plan approval request has been submitted by the applicant along with a conditional use permit CUP-45 approval request as required per section 405.340 C8 of the city code. Once again, I'd like to ask to make part of the public hearing record the municipal code by reference, the plan zoning report, and the public hearing notice. Thank you, Mr. Hamp. Is there anyone else to speak on behalf, in favor, or against? Step to the podium, state your name, please. Hi, I'm Kathy Pritchett, and I am here with Kelly Claude Felter. We are the co-founders of Jordan's Place, and we are here, obviously, for Jordan's Place, and we'll be here if, for questions later. Thank you. Anyone else to speak on behalf? Oh, on behalf? <coughs> no, no, uh, anyone, yes. <coughs> Just state your name. My name is Mary Brock. Thank you, Mrs. Brock. I'm a resident of uh, Warrington. I've been in school business and on um, retail in downtown Warrington. My husband and I own three buildings downtown. Uh, one of them is adjacent to the 202, and um, we rent these buildings. Um, and my concern is I'm here to um, state my opinion against the conditional use uh, permit. Um, I have no objection to the idea of Jordan's Place. I think it's probably a great idea, but I do not think it belongs in downtown Warrington. That is a commercial district. I think that anyone who has rental property in that area would not look kindly on this type of establishment next to their business establishment. And Thank you, Ms. Brown. Thank you. Anyone else to speak tonight for against Jordan's place? Hearing none, we'll close that public hearing and open up our final public hearing for this evening. And that would be the conditional use permit for Jordan's place as well. This is the conditional use permit approval request for Jordan's place, CUP-45, located at 202 East Main Street. Property is zone C2 General Commercial. On June the 5th, 2015, a request was filed for a conditional use permit approval for Jordan's Place, a youth recreation center, to be located at 202 East Main Street. <coughs> the applicant has submitted a site plan approval request along with this conditional use permit approval request as required by code. I'd like to ask to make part of the public hearing record the municipal code by reference my planning and zoning report and the, my public hearing notice. And then I also received a email from uh, Dr. James Brent. Uh, he sent it on Saturday, June the 27th and asked that I would include it in the public hearing. Uh, it says this letter is in response to the notification of public hearings concerning the conditional use permit for 202 East Main Street and the requirement for City Municipal Code 405.395. I am not a city resident, but I do own two properties on Main Street. Perhaps this city code is meant to protect residents and landowners. I believe it is difficult to legislate wisdom. From my perspective, it would be beneficial to have some type of fast track method for approving uses property in areas where there is already a mix of uses in an area such as Main Street. The extra work and expense required by the municipal code makes development more diff difficult and could contribute to the large number of vacancies on Main Street. It has prevented me from the renovation of the rear of my dental building to an apartment. 
for which there would be a greater demand than commercial use. I also believe the elected officials who have the city's best interest could make decisions with the advice of planning and zoning and without the need of a public hearing. This would create a savings for both the city and the applicant. I would not oppose any other use of property as long as it is not illegal or does not create cosmetic problems on Main Street. The Youth Recreation Center should be approved. I am sorry it is required so much additional work for the applicants. Vacant buildings are usually allowed to deteriorate. Sincerely, James P. Brent. Thank you, Mr. Hamp. Thank you to Mr. Brent for writing that. Anyone else to speak on behalf or against the conditional use permit tonight? It would be exactly the same, Kelly, and myself. Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Well, if you have any questions, we'll be asking in the regular meeting. Anyone else? Hearing none, we'll close our public hearings for the night, and we will open up the regular meeting of our planning and zoning for 2000, July the 2nd, 2015. And first order of business will be our minutes from the last meeting, June the 4th. Move that we approve the, the minutes for June the 4th meeting. Second. Motion by Mr. Dickey, second by Mr. Deach to approve the minutes as submitted. Any questions or concerns? Roll call vote. Mr. Deach? Yes. Mr. Colum? Yes. Mr. Barton? Yes. Mr. Schwab? I was absent. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Durbin? I was absent. Mr. Gerlach? I was absent. Motion passes 4 to 0 with three abstentions. Um, we have three absent tonight, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, first order of business will be the site plan for the Plaza Tire. This is a site plan approval request for Plaza Tire to be located at 907 North Steinhagen. And the applicant and the engineer are both here if you have any specific questions for them. We have it pulled up in front of us if you want to okay. kind of run through real quick or sure yeah. for the record Bart Corman, Lewis and Baby and uh, Scott Rhodes with Pro Development Company LLC. Um, it's a six bay light auto service uh, tire shop. Um, it's 120 uh, feet by approximately by 45 feet building with uh, 20 parking spots. Um, stormwater detentions on the south side there. Um, pretty simple commercial development um, and I'll answer any questions that you may have. You will have an entrance and exit off of Steinhagen and uh, off of both streets there? Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, we, we looked at that, the site development and wanted to make sure we had plenty of flow in and out in the front of the building. Uh, where most of the traffic is going to be, uh, but we also wanted flow for for delivery vehicles and stuff like that um, around the back. So that's that's why we you know the configuration that we had. <coughs> and did all the other questions get met to your knowledge as far as the, the concerns of the fire department? Yeah, well, they, 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 they changed gave it. a response, um, which makes sense. It's, it's the, what they have meets code. It was just a comment and recommendation oh. from the fire chief I see. to try to have an on-site fire hydrant. But uh, and Guy Gevers, director of public works, has looked at this site plan too, and he approves it as submitted. It was just a suggestion from the fire chief. But due to cost and that, I'm sure that was part of the reason for yeah. that including it. Yeah. A lot of cost in, involved in that to, to bring one just across the street when there's fire hydrant right there on the corner mm -hmm. uh, across the street. Um, figured if fire trucks can, if we have a big fire, fire trucks probably going to block the street and hook on regardless. But, you know, that's the operation of the fire department. But uh, we figured for the cost difference uh, just to, to remain as is. And then that would be less fire hydrants the city would have to maintain too. Do 
Do you anticipate a, a sidewalk there along Steinhagen? I'm trying we, to look at the map. Yeah, it's kind of hard to out. tell because everything's crammed in there. Yeah, we are showing a four foot concrete sidewalk uh, uh, along Steinhagen. Will there be a, um, is there a um, green space between uh, sidewalk and the uh, business? That I, again, I actually can't yeah. tell. We went through a couple different concepts, but what we ended up with is a, a, a curb and gutter on Steinhagen, I think about a two foot green space and then a four foot concrete sidewalk, uh, all just with inside the right of way of, of Steinhagen. It appears you have about 10 feet from the right of way to the back of the curb of the parking. Yeah, about that. We've got, got some grade to, to make up there um, with, with the site. It falls from, from the west to the east. And so we put a building and stuff in the parking lot, and then it's got to, got to catch up grade to Stein A in that green space area. Mr. Corman, are those? The little, are those shrubs, the markings there along the? Next next to the building, the little black dots? No. Are, are shrubs. Oh, they are, okay. Okay, um, the ones that are squiggly around, uh, yeah. mostly around the perimeter. Right. Uh, are the street trees and parking trees. Oh, okay. To meet those requirements. Uh, and they have met the minimum requirements for trees and shrubs. Okay. For the lands yeah. landscape code. This this property has been vacant for quite a while. Long time. I don't even know what was on it. I did. <laughs> ironically, boy, I, ironically, I think it's uh, the last attempt that we had at a youth rec place. Do you guys remember that? Well, that's right. Yeah, I do. That's right. It was something. Yeah, the, the church a church opened up a youth rec there, uh, and. So, so it's just ironic that that's the other. That was Russell Clinky right? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Clinky did that because he was yes. my neighbor, yeah. So, okay, and so after that got that ran its course, then they tore the building down and it's been vacant ever since. That's an acre. a while. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any other questions for Mr. Corman at this time for the site plan? Can, to make sure I'm clear, are you requiring a sidewalk along Bush or would you okay with it just on Steinhagen to make sure I'm clear for my packet to the board? Is Bush considered the front of the building, the north side there? No, uh, no. Stein, it's going to face Steinhagen, and that's the address Steinhagen that Andrew. we have. Um, American Bank had sidewalk, so we went ahead and proposed sidewalk along Steinhagen. Um, we looked at the Dairy Queen and the Wendy's, and they did not put any sidewalk right. along Bush, so we really didn't think it would. It almost acts like an alley for those yeah. businesses. Yeah. yeah. So, so we decided not to to, to put it in there. If, if it's a requirement, then um, we'll address it with, with the owner. And, uh, but uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's why we didn't propose to do it. And the Air Queen's basically all parking lot. Across I should the say area. the next yeah. part is yes. all parking lot, so it really kind of doesn't flow there. We, we decided it really didn't serve much of a purpose. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I said it acts like in the back of those buildings. Mm -hmm. like sure. Anybody else have any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Entertain, entertain a motion? I move that we accept the site plan uh, for uh, Positire SP-92 as submitted. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Deach, second by Mr. Dickey to approve the Positire site plan 92 as submitted. Any other questions or comments? Roll call vote. Mr. Cullen? Yes. Mr. Barton? Yes. Mr. Schwab? Yes. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Durbin? Yes. Mr. Gerloff? Yes. 
And Mr. Deach? Yes. Motion passes 7 0 with three absent. And what is the date of the July the, that this is coming from the Board of Aldermen? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a good question. Then. So it won't be next week's meeting? No, we, and it's the 21st because in case you guys had any comments or revisions, I didn't think it was fair to the, sure. to the applicant to try to get new new plans in while they would have been in today right. for Melody to put it in their drop so box. So July 21st? So the 21st is when it will be presented okay. to the Board of Aldermen for approval. We'll go ahead and open up the Plaza Tire Conditional Use Permit 44 while well, Mr. Corman is still at the podium. This is the conditional use permit approval request for the Plaza Tires site. It's, it's basically, I think, uh, the, the repair service is a part of the requirement of conditional use. Because of the almost that, basically anything with vehicle repair requires a conditional use right. in our code. So that, that's, that's the main reason why it's conditional use. <coughs> Looks like they answered all the questions that were submitted to them yes, towards sir. that. So. Anybody have any questions or comments about the conditional use permit? Historically, there was repair there when Ward's tractor was located along Bush Avenue there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's been a few years ago, mm -hmm. so Mary might remember that. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, It'd be good to see it back in something in there. I move that we approve the conditional use for plus the tire. I second that. That was me. Thank you, sir. I have a motion by Mr. Dickey and second by Mr. Schwab to approve the conditional use permit for Plaza Tire. Any questions or comments? Roll call vote. Mr. Barton? Yes. Mr. Schwab? Yes. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Durbin? Yes. Mr. Gerlach? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Deach? Yes. And Mr. Cullen? Yes. Motion passes 7 0 with three absence, and that will also come from the world July 21st. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Next order of business will be the Jordan's Place site plan. <coughs> this is the site plan approval request for Jordan's Place, a proposed youth recreation center to be located at 202 East Main Street. And the, the applicants are here if you have any specific questions. Ms. Pritchett is here to answer any questions to the board. It might have been listed in there. There's a tutoring and study. Are there going to be set cards for that to yes. occur? Um, or is that just an area for those to do that? We're going to have an area that's for that, and then we will have tutoring services available. We haven't quite mapped out if we're going to have specific times or not. It may just be a one on one sign up basis, but we haven't, we, we don't have that completely outlined yet. Our intention is to provide, uh, as some of you probably or all of you are aware, um, originally Step Up TLP, uh, the Transitional Living Program, uh, created a frustration for me because I bring these kids, these youth would come to the program and there was nowhere for them to go uh, aside from going to a movie. There's some awesome youth groups here, but they're only on Wednesday nights uh, and Sundays. 
uh, and some of the youth don't want to go to a youth group. So um, Kelly actually was a therapist for the youth in our program, and um, through the after the tragic death death of her son Jordan, um, we got together and decided that we were going to do something about it. Um, so Jordan's place is really a place for the kids to hang out with supervision, um, having fun, playing games um, with other services around them. We are not going to do counseling, but we are going to provide counseling resources. So we would refer them to counselors in the community. Um, the police uh, officer, Ch uh, Chief Howdy Shell, um, has committed that his officers will be coming in there doing what he, they call friendly calls so that the youth will um, see the police as friendly instead of somebody that are going to get in trouble. The uh, fire department's committed to doing a pizza night once a month and they're going to come in with pizza, spend time with the youth. Um, so it's really just a safe place for them to hang out. Um, we hope to eventually have um, some uh, athletic teams, Jordan's Place teams, um, but just really to get the kids involved in healthy things. Thank you. And I see the times that you have stated here. Uh, I'm assuming that those all meet curfew, city curfews, and so forth, such as that, that that was taken into account when you did that. Yes, and we and we did that also with uh, school hours in mind. Mm -hmm. We. We wanted to be open as many hours as possible during non-school hours um, and non-church hours. So that way, hopefully, they always have a place to be um, during those hours. Funding, how, how do you... <laughs> <laughs> the big <laughs> F word. Um, <laughs> um, actually, um, without getting too emotional about it, um, we are completely um, co right at the in the beginning, um, dependent on the community. Um, we have done. We started in January, and um, we just have been doing fundraiser after fundraiser after fundraiser. Um, the support has just been incredible. We have. Um, on top of the fact that our landlord has given us an amazing deal to be in there, she is much an advocate for youth. Um, so not only has she given us uh, no deposit and some other really great reduced rent rates, the first four months are re greatly reduced. Um, she's also going to donate, uh, she's the beauty, she owns the beauty uh, schools. So she's going to come in and do some um, seminars with people to help them build their self-esteem and give them some services they wouldn't otherwise be able to afford. Um, so we have just done fundraising. We just uh, recently applied for our 501c3. Once that comes in, we will be applying for every grant possible um, so that we can get that kind of funding. Inside, we will have a snack bar. We're not going to do any cooking, but we will have drinks and prepackaged foods and then as well as selling Jordan's Place t-shirts and just items like that um, to bring in some income as well. So, and then we'll do tournaments like pool tournaments and ping pong and foosball tournaments and we'll do outdoor type things as well. Um, and that way we can raise some additional funds as well. The SAVE program. The SAVE program, thank you. <laughs> the SAVE program, which there is a brochure very exciting for us. It kind of came, um, somebody suggested it to us um, after the, we, we attended the last Alderman, Board of Aldermen meeting just to introduce ourselves. And um, after that meeting, it was suggested that we do a victim impact panel. Um, so from that time until this past Monday night, we had our first class here in Warrington. And I would invite you all to come to the next one. Absolutely incredible. We had, what we do is if you're court ordered, uh, it costs you $30 to get your certificate. If you're not court ordered, it's <coughs> So we encourage everybody to come um, along with, the, if you have somebody court ordered, have them bring people, but if not, we actually had 45 people in attendance to our first class. Nine of the eight of them were court ordered. 
and the rest of them came because they wanted to come. Some of them came, there were a couple teenagers there that were court ordered and their parents were there. Um, I got phone calls before the class uh, from the parents asking about it and they actually brought a friend with them as well, one of their son's friends. Um, and so what we're, and what we're, we're a little different than the MAD victim impact panel that's out there um, in that ours isn't just focused on driving, drinking and driving, it's um, focused on anything. We had um, a young mother who lost her husband and baby to a drunk driver. So we have somebody speak on the alcohol side and then Kelly spoke on the, the drug side. Um, and it's focused on not chewing them out, not lecturing, but just saying, here's what, you know, this is what I live with every day now that I don't have my son in my life. And it was very, it was really impactful. So that's a service that, um, that we just kind of created, but there'll be some, so the income from that was you know, $240. Um, so that will also be additional. Two questions. Uh, the 50, 501C, is that what you call it? 501C3. Uh, three. Um, don't know a whole lot about that, but I, from what I do understand, that t that can take years to get that, or is that something No, that no, several months. Just several months. Yeah, and it's, um, the, we're a nonprofit. We've already right. formed that, right. but the 501C3, yeah, it can, it can take a while, right. but Before just several months. The grants. Right, okay. exactly. And I forgot to say the other way, reason that we don't, as far as raising funds, we all work for free. <laughs> so that helps. No, there's not a single paid uh, officer, board member, employee. There's no employees at this time. Right. That was my next question. Supervision. Oh. I knew that would be a question. Um, so what are, you know, right now, um, based on just the response from the community, we feel like in the beginning it's going to be packed. Um, there's a lot of excitement. We have a Facebook page and a website, and all the every fundraiser just packs them in. Well, we had a fundraiser at Emos um, a couple weeks ago, and um, we had Dunk a Cop and Pies in the Face of Teachers, and um, and it's tornado came that day. <laughs> Even in the face of that, we had about an hour and a half of good weather. We made four thousand um, dollars. Emos is an incredible support to us, so that helped because they gave a lot a percentage of their sales. Um, so, um, in the beginning, we will have eight staff, um, which would, if 80 people, 80 kids were there, that would be a ratio of 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Um, but what we did was we laid out, we took our, our floor plan, and both Kelly and I have a lot of experience with teenagers. We're not perfect, but, um, so we walked through it and we said, where, where could there be potential spots in here? Because um, we do have in the back room, there's a back room that's going to have ping pong in that room so it keeps the ball contained um, and a couple other games. But we will have stations. So we'll have four stations and then we'll have four floating that we'll be walking around. So to start with, we will have at least eight there. With all the excitement, we'll probably have more in the beginning because everybody's going to want to be, all the, all the staff's going to want to be there. But we're going to have volunteers as well as the board. Because I'm, you know, I'm looking at it from, uh, I think it's very proactive rather than reactive. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, Mrs. Brockett brought up some legitimate concerns sure. from someone who uh, is in that area. Uh, you know, I know it's exciting mm -hmm. up front. But this is a, not a once in a, like the, the things that you're doing now are just once every once in a while. Everybody's excited. Right. This is an every, every day. Every day program that's going to have to take some I mean I, it's nothing I know you ladies are phenomenal and have done a great job on anything that you guys have done here in the community and but again every day that's something that's going to have to be problems going to be headed off because yes. we know that when groups of just groups get together yes. problems arise and so uh, having everybody on board on the same page is going to be very important so and we do understand that we're sure. not taking that lightly at all um, I will always fight for the teenagers. Sure. That's just who I am, and it's who Kelly is. Um, but we don't take it lightly, and we we have every one of our meetings. We talk about that, and we are very we we are very proactive, very experienced, and we we that we we want to be good neighbors. Yeah. We totally get that. Um, I can even the step up program. That's one thing we feel very strongly about. We're good neighbors. We're good tenants. 
and we work really hard at that. Um, so I, I, we will be successful at that piece of it. We're going to have issues. It's just going to be the nature of the beast, but we will have procedures in place. Um, we feel great because the police department's backing us. That's why we like Main Street, because it's out in the open. Right. It's not, you know, we looked at the outlet mall, but that location scared us. Um, this, kids can walk here um, safely. Police department's down the street. Um, it's very visible. Step Up has apartments on Main Street. Um, I just, we just thought Main Street was just the, the best location for it, for a lot of those reasons. So I missed the 5K, you already had the 5K fundraiser? Not yet, we are gonna have one though. We've been talking about it. <laughs> And we're looking for someone to head up that committee, so we'll talk. Uh, I, I like to run. I'm not. <laughs> I'll help. I'll help anyway. <laughs> you know. I guess one one concern, maybe echoing Mrs. Brock, mm -hmm. would be if other tenants in the area. If there's a lot of loitering mm -hmm. outside along the street, I don't know how you control that. With kids, they're going to loiter. They are, there. and it's not our. We we don't have any say so if because it's public right. domain right. there. But um, if they're not going to be hanging out at Jordan's place or in front of Jordan's place, they're going to be causing trouble in other places. And um, I, I just we feel very strongly that it's you know we have to take a stand in this community. We have to take a stand, and we have to give these kids somewhere to go um, but we will be out there and we will encourage them to either be inside um, now we will have there's we're not gonna allow smoking inside but the smokers will have to smoke outside so we will have an area with a with an ashtray on the side of the building um, which is where actually the beauty college had their smokers stand but we will be very proactive outside the building as well for that reason we want the community to like us <laughs> we want the neighbors to um, maybe even partner with us um, on some things so we we plan to be very good neighbors and we do take that part of it very serious too we hope it explodes and we can build a big giant building um, mm. out in the field but um, we plan to be good neighbors Somebody need to make a motion or what yes. do we? Yep. Yep. Okay, I make a motion. We 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 accept. Is that what I need to do? What? To approve the site plan? Yeah, to approve the site plan. Second. Mr. Cullen, was that you? Yes. Because I'm sounding the same on other We have a motion by Mr. Durbin, a second by Mr. Cullen <coughs> to approve the Gordon's Place site plan. As submitted, is there any further questions or comments? Just that I believe Mr. Gerloff will need to abstain. He will. Yes. Yes. On the board. Thank you. I just have one further question. Have you have you made any contact with uh, either the high school or junior high school? We not officially. The um, superintendent actually is going to be participating in a fundraiser to support Jordan's group at the fair, um, Jordan's place. Um, we have made, they are aware, we have given them information, but we are talking about setting, and they've agreed to, to meet with us, that actually um, Mr. Hageman at the high school, the principal, but we want to make sure we know what we want to go in and talk about first, because um, there's a, we are so, we have Stop Heroin, which is a whole different organization, we have Jordan's Place, and we have Save, um, and we want to know what we want to really think about what we want to present to the high school for Gil, we would love to go in and talk about Jordan's place but what about Jordan's place what what do they want us to do so we we haven't gone in and had a formal meeting but it's on the, it's on the, the plate for us to do that and I think one of the imperative things just from my perspective that we that you the 14 to 19 years age is a good age that it stays that no zero tolerance I mean, there's no older kids hanging in there. There's no younger kids hanging in there because that's when you're going to 
You know what I'm saying? We struggled a lot with the age. Sure People did. are coming at us going, why don't you have junior high sure. kids? Why don't you have elementary? Mm -hmm. We can't do it all. That's right. And we picked high school kids. That's why we picked those age groups. And we are going to require ID. We're going to have um, ID cards. They can get a monthly. It's gonna, we're going to do a small membership fee sure. um, just to try and control. And that way we can have, we can have proof of age, proof of who they are. Um, so we, we are going to stick with that. Yeah. Any other questions or comments at this time? Well, we certainly do need something for young people in this community. And we've, that's a, been a long time need. Churches have provided some services, but uh, there are kids who are not involved in those activities. So we do need something, that's for sure. So I congratulate you for willing to take on the task. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Roll call vote. Mr. Schwab? Yes. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Durbin? Yes. Mr. Gerlach? I'm saying. Mr. Beach? Yes. Mr. Cullum? Yes. Mr. Barton? Yes. Motion passes six to zero with one abstention and three absence. And that will also come in front of the board on July the 21st. And while Ms. Pritchett is there, we'll open up the Jordan's Place conditional use permit. Mr. Hand? It's the conditional use permit approval for Jordan's Place. The proposed uh, use center on Main Street. Jack, you wrote a letter asking for written statements as to a couple issues. Were those addressed? Yes. Okay. They should have been included. It was. I was <coughs> scrolling down through the pictures of the letter. How did I miss them? Well, it looks like this. Yeah. Okay. And basically, on all conditional use permit approvals, I send that same paragraph because it's straight out of the code book that right. is asking for that general statement of I move that we approve the conditional use for Jordan's place. I second it. Motion by Mr. Dickey, second by Mr. Durbin to approve the conditional use permit for Jordan's place. Any questions or comments? Roll call vote. Mr. Dickey? Yes. Mr. Durbin? Yes. Mr. Gerlach? I'm saying. Mr. Deach? Yes. Mr. Cullen? Yes. Mr. Barton? Yes. Mr. Schwab? Yes. Motion passes 6 to 0 with one abstention. And we thank you, ladies. Good luck. We thank you. And that again will come in front of the Board of Aldermen for approval there on there. July the 21st. Thank you very and much. And for Mr. Brock as well, that's July the 21st, okay? okay. And we appreciate everybody's well. comments and concerns about your community. Thank you. It's a good opportunity for somebody that's just retired uh, from mm -hmm. education. Oh, yeah. on, that, we'll, uh, on that, we'll close the meeting and <laughs> open up the Planning and Zoning Office for, for Mr. Hamp. <laughs> Save me, Mr. Hamp. Uh, just a quick <laughs> reminder that we have a meeting on July 16th, special meeting for the Fairground Villas project. And we will, so far I've received an application for a full sign variance for the August 4th PNZ meeting. It'll be full sign for the proposed plaza tire. And did you get enough response on July 16th? Yes. I think we have a, exactly a forum right yeah. now. Exactly. Well, as long as everybody shows up, everybody, so we're at bare minimum. <laughs> I will if I'm not here, make sure you yeah. call me. <laughs> oh, then right down the street. Set <laughs> right down your thing. Right thing we'll we'll so, <laughs> yeah. uh, so right now we're at right out of quorum. Okay. Because yes. that's my son's birthday. I told you, but um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm I'll be here. Sure. Yeah, and I missed so many because of the play. So should have invited all you guys to come to the play. You'll be here. <laughs> I'll be here. All right. If I get back in time from Texas, I will also come. Awesome. Just for the board's information, I've, I've, I'm seeing a heart doctor Tuesday, and they're talking about open heart surgery. So I, I have no idea how long I'll be down. So, 
So the meeting might be held at Mr. Dickey's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're down at Barnes Jewish. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Barnes Jewish, you got to bring a port uh, of uh, we'll, be, we'll be thinking of you. You take care of yourself. First. I'll do. I got to get better. I can't get any worse. There you go. That's right. Any other questions or comments? Have a great holiday weekend. Safe. Happy Fourth of July this weekend for everyone. And, uh, yeah. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Mr. Dick. Second by Mr. Dickey. All approved. Say aye. 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 Have a great weekend.